Welcome to Morris Money, where we talk about some of the most interesting small cap stocks in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Money. Today, we're talking about why Haynes Brands closed down near 10% today. Shares of the clothing company fell 13.3%. At peaks today, after the company reported fourth quarter results with revenue declining fairly significantly year over year and missing expectations on both a reported and organic basis. With management citing a challenging consumer market for active wear, especially in the United States and Australia. Full year revenue and EPS guidance also fell short of Wall Street estimates. Following the week performance, the CEO, Steve Bart Sipsis, apologize if I butchered that, provided some color on what to expect going forward. Our fourth quarter performance did not meet our expectations as the sales environment proved to be more challenging than expected. However, we saw several positive indicators that give us confidence margins and leverage have reached a positive inflection point and demonstrate progress on our strategy to simplify our business, reduce inventory, cut costs, and reignite inner wear. All that said, it was a weaker quarter for the company. Haynes brand shares are somewhat volatile and over the last year have had 37 moves greater than 5%, but moves this big are very rare, so news like this to move the stock down over 10% obviously has a big impact on the business. Year to date, Haynes Brands is down 6.3% approximately, and at $4.19 per share, it is trading nearly 30% below its 52-week high from $5.95 in February of 2023, pretty much a year ago. Investors who bought $1,000 worth of Haynes Brands shares five years ago will now be looking at an investment of $223, signaling an over 75% decrease in value. As I was looking at the earnings for Haynes Brands, I came across this article from Stock Story, and they put it best, and it really put into perspective how much value Haynes Brands has lost over the past couple years. Again, down over 75% if you invested $1,000 five years ago. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. Do you think Haynes Brands can recover and potentially one day make up that market share again, or market cap loss, should I say? And before I sign off, I also wanna say, Thank you all for a thousand subscribers. This is a major milestone that we've been working towards for months, even probably years now, of course. So I wanna say thank you all, continue to tune in, and thank you for watching Morris Money.